Okay, so let's say that um, an antique was worth five hundred pounds, and due to damage, it is now worth four hundred. Okay, and we want to work out what the percentage change is. By what percent has the value of the antique decreased? So, when you're looking at percentage change, the key word is actually change. By how much has it changed? So, what you want to do is you want to grab the larger of the two and take away the smaller. So we want to work out the change, which is 500, take away 400, which is 100. So it's gone down by 100 pounds, which we, you know, you could have told me that anyway. Now, to work out the percentage change, you take the change, and write that number as a fraction of the original value. And it's always the original value to find the percentage change. So we've got 100 over 500, which we now want to convert into a percentage. Now, <clears throat> as, you, as you know, we could do top divided by bottom, then times by 100, or you might notice that you could divide top and bottom by 5 to get 20 over 100, so 20%. So we can see that the antique has lost 20% of its value due to the damage. Okay, So this is how percentage change can be calculated. Let's look at another example. Let's say um, let's say um, a shirt in the sale of a shop was originally uh, priced at fifty five pounds and Let's say that was the sale price. The sale has ended and it has now gone back up to, um, well, let's say £80. Okay? So we want to work out the percentage change. Now we need to work out the change first. So we grab the larger and take away the smaller. So £80 take away £55 is £25. And we look at the percentage, well the change, as a fraction of the original amount. So 25 over 55. Remember it's always the original amount. And we want to turn this into a uh, percentage. So if you divide, you could do top divided by bottom times 100, or, uh, well, let's do it that way. Okay, so we're doing 25 divided by 55, and then we're going to times that by 100. And what we get is 45.454545%. So 45. 0.5% to one decimal place. So, in actual fact, the shirt after the sale has gone up by 45.5%. Um, now the, the sale has ended. So here's a couple of examples of how you can work out the percentage change. And the process is always the same. Work out what the change is first, and write that as a fraction of the original amount, 
and convert that fraction into a percentage.